Yes. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Yes. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Who are you and what do you want? My time is precious. What is it? So, it is you. The one who acquired Keening. Do you have it with you? Show me. Quick! Ah, yes. This is indeed keening beyond any doubt. Hmm. But how is it that you're not dead? Wielding this blade should kill any mortal instantly. How am I supposed to know you're such an ignorant fool when it comes to one of the most powerful artifacts in the world? Ugh. But never mind that now. Let's talk about the reason that I've brought you here instead. You see, I require your assistance, Dragonborn. The tools of Kagranak have long been hidden, but they were never truly lost. The fact that you found Keening proves this. Um, you do know what the tools of Kagranak are, right? You're pulling my leg, right? Hmm. I can see that you really are as ignorant as I feared. All right, then. The tools of Kagranak are three very powerful artifacts, crafted by the Dwemer tonal architect Kagranak. They were used to tap into the heart of Lorcan, the heart of a god, to drain its power for the Dwemer's own purposes. The tools are Keening, the blade you found, Sunder, a hammer, and Wraithguard, a gauntlet needed to wield the tools. So great is the power of Keening and Sunder that anyone who touches them without wearing Wraithguard would suffer a terrible death. Or so it was, at least. The tools have been tied to the disappearance of the Dwemer from Tamriel, though the details remain unclear. What is clear is that the tools remained here in Tamriel after their creator vanished. Since then, they have been used for both good and evil purposes. Hmm. You must have heard of the Nerevarine prophecy and the fall of Dagathor, right? Wait. Never mind. Don't answer that. Until the end of the Third Era, the tools resided with Lord Vivek, last remaining of the Tribunal Gods of the Dumner. When the Daedra invaded Tamriel at the time, Vivek had the tools hidden by his servants, to keep them out of the hands of the invaders. And that's the last that was seen from them. Until now. Ah, good. We can finally get to the point. The tools of Kagranak have not surfaced since the end of the Third Era, but they are not gone from this world. In fact, there is one other artifact right here in Skyrim. Sunder, the mighty hammer, is right here. Ah, you see, my friend, that is the work of decades of research. I've gathered reliable information thanks to an old friend of mine at the College of Winterhold, 
Phonos Drelov. Together, we've been looking for the tools for a long time. The surfacing of Keening has been a bit of a breakthrough, you know. Many more clues were revealed to us after that. That fool Arnael stumbled on something way over his head, but his discovery turned out to be good for my own search. I heard of his accident. <laughs> Suits him right, sticking his nose in things that go way over his head. But I digress here. The summit near Mount Anthor is where you should go. This is where Sunder has been laid to rest. Why, yes. Why do you think I summoned for you? I hear you are quite capable of partaking in adventure, aren't you? If it's money you need, I have that. And you may have it, if you do the job right. If it's glory you seek, you'll find much of it here as well. You can have any reward you want if you only get the job done, my friend. I just want Sunder in my hands. For research. It will help me find out what happened to the Dwemer. After that, you can have it even if you want. As I said, any reward you wish. Excellent. There is, however, one small problem. Bonos, my dear friend, is of such importance to me because he is in possession of a small key that has been passed down to him from his ancestors. He is descending from loyal followers of Vivek, who hid under here in Skyrim many years ago. Though Vonos' ancestors didn't teach their children the location of Sunder's resting place, it is quite clear that the key was of great importance. I now have reason to believe that this key gives access to Sunder's hiding place. However, Vonos has that key now, and he will not part with it. You will need to travel to the College of Winterhold first to see if you can convince him to give you the key. He may be reluctant to give it up, though. We've had a difference of opinion recently. But you seem a persuasive kind of person. I'm sure you'll handle the situation. Ah, so you do have a sharp mind. As you know, there's one more tool besides Keening and Sunder. That's Wraithguard, the gauntlet required to wield the weapons. I know where that one is as well, more or less. Last thing I know, it was in the town of Raven Rock in Solstheim, in the hands of one Yasaur Tansamiran. He's a Dunmer Ashlander, harsh kind of people, and quite rude, too. I'm unsure how he got in possession of Wraithguard, but he's been keeping it hidden for a long time now. It's only by chance, or fate, perhaps, that this delicate piece of information reached my ears. I would also like for you to pay Yasaur a little visit and get Wraithguard from him, no matter what the costs. And there will be costs, I assure you. One more thing before you go, Dragonborn. Could you show me Keening? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yes, I thought so. I guess you've been unable to charge the weapon. I see, I see. I was wondering how you were able to wield Keening without Wraithguard, but it seems that Keening has lost its power. My first thought would be that after the destruction of the Heart of Lorcan, the tools must have lost all connection to the Heart. This seems to have resulted in drainage of their power. If that theory is correct, Sunder and Wraithguard will be drained of their might as well. In its current state, Keening is still as fine a Dwemer weapon as you'll ever find, but it's a shade of its former glory. That is indeed the question. I am unsure about it, though I may... You see, the Dwemer use these pedestals, altars of sorts, to imbue objects and weapons with magical power, much like enchanters still do today. I once found a pedestal like this on one of my research trips into Blackreach. A marvelous thing. I'm unsure if such a pedestal would be able to restore power to the tools, 
but it's worth a try. Of course, you would first need to find a particularly powerful soul gem to power this ritual. Nothing like an old common soul gem would do in this case, I fear. Multiple of such things, even. The power of a god is not easily replaced, you see. And you'll find it nowhere in Skyrim, really. Not from any place you're familiar with. Have you ever heard of the Aelids? The Heartland Elves that ruled Tamriel long ago? They were masters of capturing starlight and creating gems to store them in. Many of their ruins are still filled with such Welkind and Varla stones, containing strong magical powers. They still work after all those years. Isn't that amazing? Oh, no, no such thing. I don't have great experience with the Iliad, but I know there are ruins on this side of the border, in the mountains. You would have to find them, since their locations have not yet been mapped out. And besides that, you will have to find not just any gem, but the most powerful Varla stone the Iliad ever created. They're called the Baal Amas Edra, Stones of the Gods. The pinnacle of the Aelid's wicked craftsmanship. And even then, I think we should be on the safe side, and acquire as many of these as possible. Let's say, at least three of them. This is indeed all a shot in the dark. Most of the Balamasedra have been looted or destroyed by now. But the ruins in the mountains have not been visited as often as the ruins in Cyrodiil. You may find them in more pristine condition, with most of its surprises still intact. It's a fragile guess at best, Dragonborn, but it's the best we can do. And I'm glad you realize it. You are not done shaping the future, Dragonborn. You are just getting started. Be proud of what you are asked to do. No lesser man could complete the task. I have no further information that could aid you, so I will wish you good luck in finding the tools. Find me here once you've collected the tools and the Varla Stones. I'll be waiting for your return. Or more likely, news of your demise.